This is a quick update to my downgrade from Catalina video. So this particular machine here is running Catalina.7 and I've had enough of its shenanigans and I'd like to downgrade. So before I downgrade, a couple of things to do. Obviously you need to have a backup. I've already done that. If we go into system preferences time machine, you can see my backup was today at 955 and I didn't create any significant uh, data on this machine today. Uh, you know, other than email, which will just pull down automatically. Also, I did a carbon copy cloner backup, so I have two backups. The other thing I did, I went into Touch ID and I deleted my fingerprint. Now, if you have Touch ID, you should do the same because if you hit uh, a certain number of times you've erased your machine without deleting your fingerprint first, you're going to run out of space in your T2 chip and you'll get this message, fingerprint limit reached. Uh, you should also sign out of iCloud and make sure you turn off Find My Mac. Otherwise, you may be entering your Apple ID and password, and if you don't have it handy, it's going to be challenging when you're restoring. So uh, what am I going to do here? I'm just going to restart with my option key down. So <clears throat> you could go Shift Option Command R, which is what I plan to do. But I'm going to start with the option key down because that's the easiest modifier to get caught. And as soon as I see the graphical user interface, here it is. I'm going to go Shift Option Command R. And it says starting internet recovery. This may take a while. And you see the globe turning. So we know that we're starting over the internet. It's making use of the, uh, the Wi-Fi because there's no Ethernet and it's wanting me to choose a Wi-Fi network and enter its password. So I'm going to do that and hopefully I got it right. And then we get a little timer. We have a press return one more time to select our network. And now it's going to pull down a copy, a very small copy of the operating system for um, what we call recovery mode. This is different from normal recovery mode. In normal recovery mode, you have the chance to reinstall the exact same version of the OS that you have now. But in internet recovery, especially when we hold down the shift key, we're getting the oldest uh, Mac OS version that your hardware supports. Now, if that just happens to be Catalina, then you're kind of out of luck there. Uh, if you have a 2020 Mac or even a couple of 2019 machines, uh, the 16-inch MacBook Pro, the 2019 Mac Pro, you're stuck on Catalina, I'm afraid. But anything uh, else made in 2019 or earlier, you can go down to Mojave and depending on how old your machine is, perhaps High Sierra. So this is a 2018 MacBook Pro 15-inch and it supports High Sierra. Interesting thing, it won't install High Sierra from an external. I have to do it over internet recovery. It's the only way it will work. That's some sort of a bug because we know it supports High Sierra, but every time you try to install from an external, it doesn't work. Anyway, you have a long wait on your hands waiting for this to load, especially if you're sitting here on Wi-Fi. Uh, you can see it says zero, colon zero three it just changed to. So it's saying in about three minutes it'll be ready for me to do something. So I'm going to stop the recording here. Okay, so when the timer disappears you get a regular progress bar. And that means it's booting up from the little OS that it just downloaded. Now sometimes you'll get an error here uh, with a little number and it just means that something got corrupted during the download, so you can power down and try again. Uh, if you have Ethernet, it will definitely be more reliable for any of these steps, basically. Uh, Ethernet is more reliable. So here we have our language selector. I'll select English. 
by pressing return and then there's our utilities menu. So we're going to go into disk utility and as is happening with a lot of uh, these things you've got to go show all devices click on your solid state drives mechanism name under the internal section click erase and give it a name like Macintosh HD is the traditional name except the default format it'll either be APFS or it'll be Mac OS extended journaled see this machine is not going to work for Mac OS extended journal and always GUID partition map, which is correct for Intel Macs. If you have a new uh, Apple Silicon Mac, uh, there might be a new option there. I have no idea. And this old Apple partition map is for, you know, pre-2006 machines that were running PowerPC. And that's a Windows format. So it's got to be the defaults and give it a name that's simple starts with an alphanumeric character, well, an alpha, A through Z. And nothing weird in, in the name other than maybe the, a space or two. Dashes and underscores are fine. So are spaces, really. And then once you've erased the drive, we exit Disk Utility and we click Reinstall Mac OS. And you'll notice from the icon here, you can tell already that this is high Sierra and then when we start the installer it's very crystal clear yeah this is high Sierra so we click continue agree agree select the target drive install and away it goes so this will take some time and there's no point recording this when it's done uh, it'll reboot and run Apple setup often get a lot of questions from people saying, you know, will my data still be there? Well, only if you back it up, <laughs> you know. Do I really need to erase the drive? Yes, to downgrade the OS, you really need to erase the drive. You know, there's a hack. You, you could try and install Mojave onto the data partition of your, um, you know, strangely formatted split drive uh, that, it is the result of upgrading to Catalina, but its file system is not fully compatible with Mojave and Mojave will have trouble with the file system and that way is going to lead to disaster, not to mention wasting a lot of disk space. So no, don't even go there. In order to do a downgrade, you need to erase the machine. There's no if, ands, or buts. Okay, anyhow, that's all I have to say today. Thanks for watching. Fade out.